Eating better is easier with Koo produce. Homegrown from R plus to your plate. Koo Uzotkoala. Fresh produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Ay, we got you. Packed and packed at its prime from R plus to your plate. Making eating better as easy as adding color to your plate. With Koo's range of vegetables and fruit. Uzotkoala. Get Koo. As we said to make eating better, easier. Color your plate with Koo. I'm Sandaline, I'm from Pretoria and I'm a data analysis but I also have a small baking business. My name is Gerard Jumatitela, popularly known as the Loud Baby Girl, hailing from the beautiful province of Umalanga. I am a chef. My name is Rihanna Sheikh, I'm from Durban, Chatsworth. I am an e-commerce administrator for an international cake decorating company. My name is Samge Kuluse, I'm from Durban in Roseville and I'm a cook. My name is Alona Khriyev, I'm from Johannesburg South. I'm a financial administrator and I have two amazing boys. So I'm a mummy that just loves being in the kitchen. So welcome to you, our last five potential cooking stars. Woo! Only one of you who impress us the most will join the rest of the contenders to color your plate in the next round. And if you make it all the way to the end, the winner of season two will walk away with their share of 500,000 Rand in cash and prizes. So there's a lot at stake. You'll each have one hour to color your plate with this week's hero ingredient. This week we are focusing on cool mixed vegetables. They're a great way to get a variety of vegetables for your five a day in one serving. And obviously we don't just want you to put it onto the plate. We want to see creativity. And to help us make that decision today, let's meet this week's guest judge. My name is Mbumi Mops, better known as Mrs. Mops, from The Real Housewives of Johannesburg season two. I take my health and my fitness very seriously. For me, food and cooking form part of my daily life because it's a love language for me. You know, if somebody asks me, Mrs. Mops, have you eaten today? I'm like, oh, you love me. It's a love language. And for me, it, it just, it forms part of that. As a judge, I'll be looking for personality and taste and just passion. Hello contestants, all the best today. Hello Chef Ruben. I'm Pumi. Hello Good Arthur. To, to help you get some ideas, Ruben has created a five a day inspiration using cool mixed vegetables. So, I've created a mixed vegetable oh, wow. phyllo tart. Inside there's some feta, there's some basil pesto, really just to elevate and freshen up uh, the flavors. Over the top, I've made a, a relish using bell peppers and chili, so it's nice and spicy with a bit of sweetness to it. And just some avocado and some fresh basil leaves to go with it. Come and have a taste. The colours are so inviting. I can't wait to try it. It looks amazing. It tastes like heaven on earth. Now that you're all feeling inspired, I guess you're all ready to cook. Yeah. yeah! This dish, it's just boosting my creative juices. Contestants, you'll have one hour to impress us using mixed veg. This pantry will be available to you throughout the hour, including this range of cool products. Contestants, are you ready to cook? Yeah! yeah. Good luck, ready, steady, colour your plate. I am a very passionate foodie. I enjoy spending time in the kitchen, cooking for my family of three and my little girl. Today I'll be cooking a delicious vegetable biryani layered with fried potatoes, boiled eggs, and braised with fresh vegetables, including cabbage. Coming from a home with diabetics, it is a healthy option. My liefde voor koos het gekom van kleins af, dus ek was altyd geïnteresseerd vooral om te kyk hoe my oma bak, maar die koosdeel het eindelijk meer gekom toe ek begin swaad het. Ek moes my leer om self koos te maak. So, ek gaan vandag uh, balsamic orange en cranberry hoener maak met een uh, spin open boterboeinkie graag wat room en 
lekker knoffel en bacon is, maar met mixed veggies. En dan gaan we een lekker slui aan die kant maak met limoen en feta kools. Uh, my love for food actually comes from my dad. I uh, always used to cook in the kitchen with my dad. My plan for today is a naked veggie burger, so there will be no bun. I'm making a rice patty um, using my cool mixed veg. I like to disguise um, using vegetables with my kids because my youngest child is very fussy with having vegetables. So I like to find finding ways that's fun, innovative, that he actually looks forward to eating. My love for cooking comes from my childhood. I just decided that I just want to recreate those memories again, but with a modern twist. I'm gonna make a wrap using the crew curried vegetables with some chickpeas, nothing meaty, you know. I'm here to have fun and build a name for myself, and that's just it. I started uh, doing catering about five years ago. It's an inborn uh, talent. I was actually born with it, and I've nurtured this talent since I was 10. Today I'm making fried rice with uh, mixed veggies, chicken breast, nuts, raisins, and um, creamy spinach. Yazin, good luck. Unga tugi. Stand a chance to win a seat at the finale table and on the judging panel. To enter, cook up a nutritious meal using Koo's weekly hero ingredient. Head to Koo's social media channels and post your photo, the meal description, and hashtag color your plate with Koo in the comments. Enter now. T's and C's apply. You don't have to be lucky to make Koo pilch at the start. Rich with omega 3 and good for heart wellness. Mzanzi favorite made by Mzanzi's finest. Koo, uzot gwaala. Shy my combo fast fast, cool mixed veg seasoned and tasty combinations in je picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Color your plate with cool. I guess more creative in a hour of an um this at the rain vent in let another gear in to bring us what we have won and won this on. So as on the lane, how can it? Good. Thank you. So the marinade you're using, the cranberries, and what else did you um, put in there? Cranberries, balsamic vinegar, and um, orange. So I like the fact that she's using cranberries in there. I love that. Yeah. I love the fact that she's such a risk, a risk taker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, bacon and cream. Yeah. Just I mean, <laughs> if you start there already, I mean, you've got me. Yeah. <laughs> love that combo. Bonus points. <laughs> so you're making a biryani. Yes, I am making a biryani, a vegetable biryani. It looks good, eh? It looks Fresh. amazing. Yeah. Fresh. Shine bright like a diamond, girl. <laughs> like That's what song. I'm here to do. <laughs> <laughs> so in my filling, I'm going to add chickpeas, a pineapple, and star product of the day, which is the vegetables, the curry one. Eha, the loud Betty girl. Hey, boo 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 boo. I love all the fresh things happening here, the lime. I'm gonna incorporate the lime, but yeah. you know, may the culinary gods be with there me. There we go. Oh, may they be with you, girl. Time's okay. running out, so you know, get that get, done. Get it done, girl. Yes. I normally make this dish for my children. They love the veggie burger. I normally use a different cool product, but I'm very excited to try the mixed veg and see how that incorporates. My youngest son refuses to eat vegetables, so I need to disguise it in a fun, entertaining way for him to enjoy. I really like the idea of the patty that you're going to be doing okay. uh, and how you incorporate the mixed veg in there, and I'm really looking forward to tasting that. Thanks. Thanks, Ilona. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at my spinach, I'm burning the mushrooms. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, my mother said, do not burn the food. Contestants, you only have 30 minutes left. Come on, guys, time's running out fast. Feelings, it's just going Mamelodi east and west, east and west. So it's not doing what I wanted to do. It's not folding as you wish you could have folded. Yeah. 
I think I overfilled it. I just need to minimize my filling and frying them just so that they give a shape and then I'm gonna pop them in the oven and hopefully the cheese will make them cheese with their teeth and smile. Alles like of dit vraag aankom en met tijdsklag gaan wees. Okay, contestants, you've got 20 minutes left. Woohoo! Let's go, contestants, let's go! Oh, Ilana, so you have less than 20 minutes left, yes. eh? And you still need to form that pattern. 30. So I think you need to now spark. Yeah. Really, eh? Yes. And at this moment, I'm so nervous. I'm just looking at the time. I'm thinking I need to finish my dish on time. I'm just cut singing. I'm just cooking. So some contestants, it looks like they're going to be finishing way ahead of the time. Oh, wow. It seems like everything is in control there. I'm worried about Ilona at the back. Mm. She's doing this little uh, rice patty with a mixed veg. And she's, I see she's only forming it now with not much time left. Everything's going okay. I'm going to now mix the curry that I've prepared with the biryani spices and the cool vegetables. So I'm going to mix it up and layer it with the cooked rice and then top it off with fried onions that I've prepared. I'm kind of happy with how my wraps came out. It's fine. Oh, wow. This is giving me taco vibes and I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to expect, but I am the game. Things are not going to plan currently. Everything just falls apart. As I'm flipping the first patty, it breaks, and I have to replan and use some breadcrumbs to just to make it more solid, and the patty stays together. I made two new ones. Hopefully, they stay together. So, fingers crossed. Ze varen op alles volgens plan. Niks nu op schip niet. Alles is op tijd. So, I'm gila pambili. Nia pegala. Ang as goed kun zala ni mumba. I'm just like I'm cooking. I'm looking at the time. I'm saying, girl, you need to finish this on time. My temperature is rising, though I'm checking on my curry and I'm checking on my rice and I'm hoping that it's cooked through and it's boiled perfectly. So I'm going to start plating now. It's a lot of time left that you've done. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I've got to finish like uh, four minutes early. And you're happy with uh, there's nothing else you want to do? Uh, looking at my you fish, just I, less back is often. more. Less is more. So looking at yeah. my fish, um, I'm good, so I, I, would, I wouldn't want to eat anything. So. The other contestants are basically done with their plating, and there is absolutely nothing on my plate. I haven't even placed the rockets. There's nothing, and I'm starting to freaking out. Time, 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 definitely not on my side. Only one minute to go, come, come on. on. yes. These wraps are not what I expected them to be. I think I'm just gonna check these nuts out. There's nothing more I can do, there's no time left. I just threw the last bit of rockets just to make it all look pretty and time's up. Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two one. one. Step away from your plate. Woo! Well done. Stand a chance to win a seat at the finale table and on the judging panel. To enter, cook up a nutritious meal using Koo's weekly hero ingredient. Head to Koo's social media channels and post your photo, the meal description, and hashtag color your plate with Koo in the comments. Enter now. T's and C's apply. Get easy peasy essential nutrients with Koo peas. They're a great source of fiber. Picked and packed at their prime for you, Mzanzi. Color your plate with Koo. For overall improved well-being, put that special something into any meal with Koo Beetroot. Picked and packed at its prime from our plus to your plate. Colour your plate with Koo. There's some interesting uh, combinations of flavours and clever use of mixed veg. Exactly, lots of originality, that's oh, what I, I loved so. about it. And so yeah, I just cannot wait to dig in. 
I think we're ready for the first dish. I feel happy uh, looking at my dish. I'm like, girl, you did the things, yeah. Today I made fried rice with chicken breast, some nuts, and we have some raisins in there. And I also made creamy spinach with mixed vegetables and mushrooms. Great, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you. Sange. I hope the heavens just shine on me this time and I'll go to the next round. I kind of like, you know, the the nuttiness, you know, the raisins in there, it's something different. Uh, I'm not sure if it's being elevated enough. And the cream spinach also is quite salty. Mm. I think this is within her comfort zone and she played on that. She's really fast, we can, we can say <laughs> that. She was so quick to finish the dish. Let's have the next dish. I'm a bit nervous and shaky. I'm not sure how the reaction would be to my dish, though I am feeling a bit confident, so just waiting on their response right now. The dish that I've prepared for you is a vegetable biryani prepared with a ku mixed vegetables and a side of ku beetroot salad. Thanks, Rihanna. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank Rihanna. you very much. There's like many things going on in my mind right now and I'm not sure what to think, but let's just wait and hopefully the best person would win. Okay. Oh, okay, that is a very tough, hard potato. It's not ready. No. We've had uncooked chicken before. It's the first time on the show that we're getting an uncooked potato. This meal had such potential, but mm. I wish it just took time to uh, cook the potatoes a little bit more. But I think in terms of a spice combination in the flavors, it's really nice. I like the nice kick at the end because we're always looking for that, you know, mm. firework, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, sometimes. And it, it's really flavorful. Let's taste the next one, guys. All right. All the here is half it's not what I've done. And this makes it even more stressful Ik weet niet of alles lekker som gaan is. Ik heb het al eens slijf gemaakt, maar ik weet niet dat we nog geen saus gemaakt hebben. So I prepared for you today a mixed veggie creamy casserole with bacon and a bit of garlic and butter. And then the chicken has a cranberry um, balsamic vinegar glaze and then small salad with feta cheese, beetroot, orange and then a honey mustard salad dressing. Thank you, Zendelin. Thanks. Thank you. Om te wag vir die verdik is verschrikkelijk stressvol. Mens weet nie, gaan nie judges, hou hulle van my koos, hou hulle nie van my koos nie, so sê ek iets verkeerd gedoen, baie stressvol. I quite like the casserole. I love how cheesy it is. If you have bacon and cream and cheese, you can almost add anything to it. That dish for me, I think, uh, really has carried a lot of flavors nicely. Shall we taste the next one? Yes. I'm walking down and I'm looking at my plate and I feel fairly happy and confident with what's on the plate. Um, I just hope the flavors comes through and the judges just loves the flavors. Okay, so I made a naked burger with um, a rice patty. Um, the rice patty is made with the cool mixed veggies and I also made a mixed veggie relish. And then I also have some chili mushrooms. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you Thanks. so much. Nervous standing there and looking over everything that's happening and you can't wait for the judges to reveal so you can just flow back into your body and just enjoy the experience. Short grain rice that she was using, it's actually perfect for, for making a sort of rice patty like that. It's got quite a bit of nice sort of creaminess to it, but it allowed her to kind of still fry it. And, and because of that, you almost get that little kind of burger smokiness to, mm. to that. I agree, actually, mm. the flavors went together very well. The pineapple gave it a very fresh yeah. crispness to it. So I, I quite liked it. It was a bit too sweet for me, but overall, I think it's really, the concept is nice and I like it and I support it. Okay, let's taste the next one. This last walk to the judges' table, it's giving me, it's a rainy night in Georgia type of vibe because it's wowza food. Uh-uh. di veggie, chaku. Mm -hmm. and chickpeas, red onion, and pineapple. I'm proud of whatever outcome. I did what I could do in the moment. This is one for the books. Very underwhelming. Mm. There's a lot going on on this plate. Um, and unfortunately, 
the hero ingredient, the mixed vegetables, are nowhere to be found. Yes, I where are they? Be, you know, I had to look for them so that I can actually taste. I don't think she actually thought through her dish yes. in terms of how it's going to taste. Yeah, it's, you know, it never is easy, these decisions, and only one of them can, can go through. So it's time for us to decide. Win or lose, this is one of the most best experiences. Yo, there's something going on here in my tummy. Yo, in the next few minutes, we're going to hear who made it. Ladies, thank you very much for coming out today and, and also, you know, challenging yourselves. They all deserve a round of applause. Yes, absolutely. Sandeline, I must say, I get very good from your dish. The combination with the room and the spec, the aroma that you gave was very good. And the clear on your board was very nice. So, well done. Thank you. Ilona, your topless or naked burger, should I say, was actually very good. It was creative. You used the hero ingredient. So, well done to you on that. Sam, good luck with your nandi CC. Good luck with Sekaya. Good warm, good tandile. Got a corner into be 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 shorter. Again, go go. Got your nandi. So, see you soon. Thank you. Brianna, I was looking forward to tasting uh, those potatoes in your biryani. Unfortunately, I think just because of the size of them, they weren't completely cooked. But your use of spices and the balance uh, of the flavors for your biryani was actually quite nice. Thank you. The loud baby girl. The girls are how very hotly shabu matlo, very na le matla ho ready. Unfortunately, the hero ingredient, mixed vegetables, were not loud on your dish. This was really a tough decision for us to make, and in the end, it came down to two plates: Sandaline and Ilona. The deciding factor was that one of you elevated the euro ingredient to the next level. Under the cloche is the winning plate. Mpumi, will you please reveal the winner of today's challenge? Yes, and the winning plate is... Ilona! Congratulations! Ilona! <laughs> My heart is still beating out of my chest. It's like an awesome feeling. Our As winner. the winner of today's competition, you will walk away with a hamper worth 5,000 Rand, compliments of Ku, and you. we'll see you in the next round. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to take to the next round is definitely uh, managing my time properly and focusing on the star ingredient. Next time on Color Your Plate with Ku, the eight top contenders from the first round return to the kitchen. And now the real work begins. And joining the judging panel is celebrity chef and culinary school owner, Jackie Cameron. Just add color to your plate with Koo's range of fruit and vegetables. Eating better has never been easier. Koo, Another feel-good production.